What's going on, y'all? Micah here, and I'm back with another boxing video breakdown. And we got your boy Jake back in the news again, man, because he just ain't looking good out in these streets, man. I seen Rockman is leaking more videos and is exposing Jake for the fighter that he really is. And yeah, I said the fighter that he really is because he was never good unless you were a beta male who can't fight yourself. You was like, oh, man, Jake Paul good. You never thought about his competition. You never thought about all the different clauses and little silly things he had in his contracts and whatnot. And, I, you know, it took you for a loop, man. I, I chose this picture right here because he looking beardless right now, man. You're looking like a sorry little joker, man. You're looking more and more like who you really are, man, the annoying white guy who does pranks and, you know, he thinks he's edgy. And, you know, he tries to do daredevilish things like how Jake has been doing with the boxing. But you really ain't that guy. Let's go ahead and check this video and see what these clips is talking about. Put out what you want to put out, content creator. We're going to see you on August 6th, man. Head up, sir. Go. Jack. There you go. That's showing a sorry technical flaw on Jake right there. The way that he jabbed without really changing his levels. He had his hands low, didn't bring his hands back fast, and he paid the price. So he got hit with a nice little stiff jab for his troubles. You might be like, that ain't even land, that ain't even land. Why he showing that? It definitely landed, man. If you ever sparred before or been on the other end of that, you have seen that, you know, it has a little bit of juice to it, man. You timed the guy just right. He went down for his sorry little jab like he's been doing before. He changed his level right here, but, you know, he just was getting time because he keeps on going to the well. That, that happens when you go to the well. He first is your best jab. Stay using the stick, man. Some deep breaths. Bring the hands up. There you go. Keep working. Notice that he tried to go to the well again because earlier he landed that same shot where he kind of changed his level a little bit and went for the jab to the head instead of the body. And he thought that Hasim was going to fall for that one twice. Any decent boxer is going to quickly adjust, so you're going to have to wait a little bit. But Jake is going to the well. He finds a little success. He goes to the well. And that's not a bad thing. When something works for you, you should do it over again, but not over and over and over, back to back to back to the point where they're going to see what's going on. So be smart in there. Left side. So here's another clip that shows Jake's lack of technical prowess as well as lack of volume. He threw the jab to the body. He's been going to the well on that. We know that. And it's, you know, I guess he's been doing something for him, so he figured he could do it. It's also more of a tester thing where you don't have to worry about getting hit as much. You can kind of dart in, dart out like you're stealing something. But, you know, he did that right here. And since he doesn't have the wherewithal, you know, he doesn't go for the overhand right or maybe try to, you know, use that guy's, you know, uh, balancing him by holding his jab to kind of like pivot around or something like that. You know, there are things he could have did, but... It's Jake Paul right here, man. He could have hit him with a quick overhand. but And you see, you notice that Hasim Rahman is so invested in just blocking his jab like a Dragon Ball Z fighter. He's holding it like a Dragon Ball Z fighter. He ain't even put, pick up his hands because he knows Jake Paul is not really about that life. He's not really putting him, putting them combinations up and putting up that technical prowess like that. But let's get it. So just a second ago, notice that Hasim Rahman was going into full retard by covering up with the high guard. He didn't have any care in the world. He wasn't worrying about Jake changing levels, going to the body. He wasn't worrying about Jake putting up no Canelo combinations or nothing like that. He just was kind of just sitting there, high guard up. And Jake Paul couldn't take advantage of that because Jake Paul doesn't have the technical prowess. Or maybe he was tired. 
which I don't understand why it's tired to be working hard. He got the best trainers in the world. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, like if somebody ever covers up their guard, it's pretty much open season, man. You can pretty much put up any type of combination you can imagine. Whatever you've been working on on the back, you can do that and exploit all the different weaknesses. Because the high guard, well, why, while it is probably one of the more used basic guards and, uh, I guess, reliable guards, it's also very unreliable. There are a lot of openings. If you close your hands too close, the hooks can go around your head. If you are too high, your body is open. If you keep your hands too wide open, people can throw straight jabs and bombing rights straight down the middle. So Jake didn't take advantage of that. And then we see right there, he took a hook for his troubles. Yeah, he blocked it, but that hook definitely had a little bit of mustard on it to the point where you blocking it feels like a hit. But uh, that's it, let's go. <laughs> So yeah, it looks like Jake is finally getting exposed for the gimmick that he is within this boxing world. And it's going to be a lot of folks like, well, Jake, 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 well, dude, Jake beat up Tyron Willie, dude. Jake beat up these other guys. He beat up a, pro, a professional athlete, dude. Think about what you're saying, you non-fighting idiot. Jake Paul fought Nate Robinson, who is just a professional uh, athlete. He's not a boxer. He's not a fighter. He doesn't even have the conditioning to get hit. You see how he went down so easily with that one blistering shot? Then he fought Tyron Woodley. Tyron Woodley has never been a guy who has hands. Tyron Woodley is also an MMA fighter. MMA guys quite often don't have hands. Yeah, you have a few like John Jones and Anderson Silva. Maybe we could even throw Conor McGregor in there. And you could also say GSP. And, uh, well, we could, we could say the, the Diaz brothers, but they kind of sloppy. But anyway, man, yeah. MMA guys aren't really known for their hands. They're not really known for their technical problems within the boxing realm. If you've ever sparred an MMA guy, the hardest thing to get past on them is the fact that they're awkward. That's it. But, uh, yeah, man, Jake Paul hasn't really fought anybody. I think that Jake Paul works hard enough to the point where he could beat most of you guys and a lot of people who are also just regular, just everyday athletes or maybe a little athletic or maybe they fought a little bit of MMA or something like that. But notice the people he's picked on again. He picked on Ben Askren. Sucks. Tyron Woodley. Sucks. Gun shy. Um, Nate Robinson. Soft. Basketball. Go stick to dribbling that ball, my boy. Yeah, Jake Paul ain't really hitting for nothing, man. So y'all got to stop big up, big up and on man. I do think that he could probably give somebody like Andrew Tate a run for their money because Andrew Tate is just a kickboxer. I don't think his boxing prowess is up to par like that. Um, if he fought Conor McGregor, that would be interesting just due to the size disparity there. But I do think Conor has enough hands to deal with Jake Paul, although he's been kind of playing around. So his, I don't know, he might be a little off right now. He might get knocked out. Of, if Conor McGregor gets knocked out by Jake Paul, he needs to go, he needs to go to the trash land and just hide there for a little bit and just never be seen again, man. But yeah, man, we see how it is when Jake Paul actually fights a real boxer, man. We'll see if Hassan keeps on putting out more and more clips. Will he continue to expose Jake Paul? Will more people come forward with more clips? Or will they just be out here like, I don't want to do it. I, I act like they signed an NDA or something like that, man. But, uh, yeah, man, appreciate y'all watching as usual, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how you feel about Jake Paul. Do you think that he got exposed here? Do you think that, oh, man, uh, uh, he sucky. He, he suck. He saw as hell, man. He suck. He slaw dog. Because I do. I never thought Jake Paul was really that guy. I did find it entertaining that he was fighting people because he was a YouTuber, but beyond that i know he's not that guy with the, with the boxing for real so we ain't even gonna play like it but that's it for the video right there man thanks for watching y'all have a great day and i'll see y'all next time